hey, it's <laughs> my hands. <laughs> hey, it's Jennifer from Happiness is Homemade Floor, and welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And to all my wonderful subscribers, thank you. <laughs> I love and appreciate all of you. So, today we are going to make the mini rolling pins. I did my three tier tray the other day a video and I asked if you'd want to see how I made my rolling pin and it was like a unanimous yes. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how I make these and it is so, it's so easy. <laughs> okay, so this is one of them. This one just says blessed and I do one like I've had Christmas ones like this one's Santa cookies with the red and black and then my hot cocoa bar. I had, you know, the hot cocoa. But they're so cute and you can do so many things with them so today I'm gonna show you how to make them and I'm gonna do mine for spring so okay <laughs> so I'm gonna share with you my secret <laughs> and I'm kind of afraid to share with you because once I do I'm not gonna be able to find them anymore <laughs> but that's okay okay so here's my secret <laughs> mini rolling pins from Hobby Lobby. You get a three pack for $3.99. These never ever go on sale. Never. I constantly check and this price point and all the wood stuff never goes on sale. So I use my 40% off coupon. You can always when you're in the store use your phone pull up a you know the coupon. But $3.99 40% off was at like $2.40. Yeah $2.40. Okay so anyways Okay, so $3.99, 40% off. So, love these. It's the perfect size. They're so cute. Okay, so what we're gonna do, okay, <laughs> I don't know what's happened to my footage. <laughs> this is my third time filming this. I do this for y'all, because I love you. <laughs> my third time, but okay. But you saw, I do have the beginning, so you saw the three packs of these mini rolling pins. $3.99, Hobby Lobby, use your 40% off coupon. <laughs> ah! So all I did, okay, I've got one that I've already painted white. <laughs> all this is, is cheapo apple barrel white, basic old white paint from Walmart. 50 cents, 50 cent paint, that's all you need. If you want to use chalk paint, go ahead, but you don't really need it because one coat, that's all it took of this 50 cent paint. Okay. <laughs> now, here's where I give you options because you can go buy these, you paint it white yourself. Now, <laughs> I've used so many pins, really been today trying to film. All I did was, paintbrush is over there, just, you know, just basically just, just paint it. You know, I missed all that footage. I don't know. But when you're on the top, just go slow. And all I do is just hold my paintbrush still. And I just twist. Just twist. I get right underneath, up underneath that rolling pin. You know, kind of pull up a little bit. Just go right up underneath it and just go around. You know, and then turn it over. Same thing. Just go up underneath there and paint it. Okay. So, here's the options. If you have a Cricut obviously. <laughs> so I did Hello Spring from a Cricut. This is, the spacing is, letter space is 0 0.8, the height is 0.9, and the width is 2.8. This is the skinny font. So print it out and you would just stick it on here. Now, if you don't have a Cricut, I just, my basic old computer, I went to um, Word I typed in Hoppy Easter. I wanted to do Hoppy. Hoppy Easter. Once again, I did the skinny. The skinny font, which is like the Ray Dunn farmhouse font. If you don't have this, you can go to the font. <laughs> D-A-F-O-N-T. It's free download fonts. Goes right to your computer. So you just download it. The font. I'll put it down in the, the description box just in case. But... The skinny is what it's called. The skinny. So I typed in that and then I highlighted it. And now you can change like the size, make things bigger or smaller. This is 55. So this height, this is the skinny. And I changed the number to make it bigger to 55. And it fits on here perfect. 
So, what you can do for this, you can cut it out to your size, turn it over. <laughs> so I've already done all this. <laughs> Take your pencil, scribble all over the back of it. Make sure you cover every letter on the back side. You know, just scribble it really good. Then, <laughs> put it on your rolling pin exactly where you want it to be. You know, get it lined up on there. It's kind of just right. Put you some tape. You know, put a little tape at the top and the bottom. Just, you know, hold it for you. Take your pencil. And with a steady hand, which I do not have, <laughs> you trace out whatever your words are. Completely trace it. Just kind of push hard. Go slow and just trace out every letter in your word. And then when you take it off, you will see the light. Your, your words will be on there. <laughs> It'll be very light. It'll be on there and you can trace it. Now, the mistakes that I did earlier in one of the videos, I had a Sharpie. A Sharpie in the skinny font does not work. It was too fat. It kind of bled. So if you have a fine tip, Sharpie or a fine tip paint pen. Use that. I tried using this marker I found in my daughter's room because it, it's you know fine point. It's a paper mate. It did not work. I mean it worked, but it not good. It didn't look all that great. So I would say you know get a fine point Sharpie, and they make several colors. You don't have to do black. I mean they make beautiful colors in Sharpies. So. Okay, that's another option <laughs> is tracing and then just, you know, going over it with whatever color you want. Another option is stickers. I got these stickers at Hobby Lobby. Actually, I got mine on clearance. They were 49 cents. But I just thought the lettering was pretty. I like that. You get capital and you get lowercase letters. It's Dollar Tree has all kinds of stickers, several colors. You know, pick whatever font. You know, you can do any font you want. It can be cursive, you know. Now this, you probably would want to Mod Podge on unless you don't want it to be permanent. If you just want to do like springy for now and then you want to change it. But the good thing is you get three. So, you know, you could do your, your others, which I didn't show you. Oh, I'm gonna show you that in a minute. <laughs> place because I'm so like where did I leave off earlier but <laughs> let's get show you well is okay here's a farmhouse one that I like to put in my tree the black and white gingham or I guess that's more of a yeah gingham also do like I have blessed and then for Christmas I had Santa's cookies look how cute that is with the red and black I had Santa cookies and then in my cocoa my hot cocoa bar I had one that said hot cocoa <laughs> so adorable but yes now like I said the farmhouse bless these things you can just leave out every single day year round but I want to do an Easter springy one so okay a couple more options for you I'm getting a little distracted sticker stencils this was also from Hobby Lobby this was $2.99 but I got it 50% off got $1.50 these you know just they're stickers and they're stencils you just take it off there Line up your word, you know, trace it. Now, I did notice for me, though, there's too much white. Like, it was hard for me to kind of, like, eyeball, like, how close and far certain letters were. So, you may want to, like, trim up some of the excess because there's a lot of white. You know, especially for such a little rolling pin. Okay, another option, stamps. <laughs> now, I got these the Target Dollar Spot back in fall. They were $3. I still haven't even opened them yet, but... So that's another option. Just stamp it on there. And what you want to do though, especially if you're going to do something like a stamp, start here and work backwards. You know, spell going backwards. <laughs> you may, and if you have to, like write down whatever word you want and then look at it and go backwards. You know. So, okay. <laughs> and then. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this Hello Spring Cricut because I already have it done and ready. And then my ribbons. I buy this at Hobby Lobby. It's $1.99, but you know, every other week it's 50% off, so I get this for a dollar. It's 15 feet long. It's this green and white little gingham. 
and they have so many colors. I've got, like I said, the red and black that I did at Christmas time. I did um, the buffalo, black and white. I've got orange and white. I mean, they have navy blue and yellow and purple and red, you know, red and white, but so many different colors that you could do. So, okay, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna do my Hello Spring. Sure, this pulls up just right. Ha! <laughs> All right. So, a little rolling pin, kind of laying down straight. And I'm going to try to put my sticker on there straight. All right. So just kind of line that up on there. That looks pretty good. And just like you know, Cricut, you just rub it on there. Y'all, I started filming, getting ready for this at 9 o'clock this morning. It is now 4.41. <laughs> this is my third time filming this. It has been one thing after another today. Uh, one thing after another. I've had to stop constantly for, <laughs> for something. <laughs> That's okay, because it just makes it even funnier. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Now I'm just gonna peel it off, and I'm like ripping my G. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. <laughs> All right. Look how cute. Hello, spring. There we go. Now, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the green and white. I'm gonna take some of this. I'm not gonna measure out anything. I'm just gonna stand up. Just kind of eyeball how much you know you think. And all you're gonna do is just tie you just a little bow, just a basic little little bow. And I put mine, and you can put your ribbon anywhere you want. You can even put it on the rolling pin. I like for mine to kind of go underneath where like the handle meets the rolling pin itself. And it kind of hides, <laughs> if you get a little paint here and there, it kind of hides it for you. So, like I said, I'm just going to tie me just a basic, little, cute bow. Yeah. Nothing fancy. Alright, and that is tied just a basic, cute little bow. Yeah, I'm just going to cut it kind of a little angle. Boop. Pull that down. And... Look how cute. Hello, spring. <laughs> With a little green and white gingham. Adorable. I love this. I love it. It's so cute. It's my first springy one. So cute. My lighting is horrible. I'm trying to work in my craft room for the first time. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So, like I said, I went ahead earlier. And I made another one too. And this one says Hoppy Easter. <laughs> the Hoppy Easter. And this time I did the orange and white little bow. See how just how cute it is. I love it. But look how cute these two are together. I love it. Alright, it looks so cute on a tiered tray or just like a cake stand that you know you have decorated or a shelf or a windowsill or your coffee bar or your hot cocoa bar you know in the winter time but they're just so cute to decorate with you know it's like you know Easter's coming up so if you you know give a little gift to someone cute the hello spring or just think like with summertime you could do like the navy blue and white and do something like some like lemons some kind of like you know yellow lemon thing but, oh, these are going to be so cute on my trays. Alright. Now, I will show you <laughs> what you kind of missed earlier. <laughs> like earlier, when I, you know, took the paper one, that just cut out basic old printed paper. And I highlighted the back, you know, shaded the back. I traced it onto this rolling pin. <laughs> and it didn't really turn out. It did turn out, but my marker wasn't right. So, you can see... See that blue? It just did not look right. <laughs> and it may have been the color because you can see it works. 
you know, I mean, I did the pencil and then I went over it with this blue marker. It, it definitely works, but I would use a brighter or darker color, or like I said, a Sharpie because this little marker just wasn't doing the trick. So, but yeah, so that trick does work, but it's not what I wanted. And so just turn it over into that. And now that this has had plenty of time to dry, I'm just going to stain that off <laughs> and put a couple coats of paint over top of it. You'll never know. All right, so that is it. I hope you <laughs> enjoyed this video. Like I said, third time's a charm. Hopefully this recorded. <laughs> if not, it's okay, because I will do it again for you. <laughs> but all right, um, I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope you all have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching.